Hey, so I woke up this morning to a question from a friend about the topic of Revelation. And I thought that today we could spend the second episode uh, discussing a couple of questions about Revelation and how to receive personal Revelation. Now, how do you know if, uh, if you're getting Revelation? And uh, what if you feel like your prayers aren't being answered? I remember as a 18-year-old uh, boy uh, getting ready to serve a mission. I'd really wanted to serve a mission my whole life. And as I graduated high school, I took a trip to New York and went to Palmyra. And I was there in the Sacred Grove, right outside of Palmyra, uh, where Joseph Smith knelt and prayed. And I was walking through, and I was by myself at one point, and I thought, wow, I'm about to leave on a mission. I should probably ask the Lord if the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is true. I had never asked him before. So I knelt down in the grove and I wasn't expecting a visionary experience like Joseph Smith had, where he saw God the Father and Jesus Christ. But I did know that the Lord would answer my prayer if I asked in faith. And so I knelt down and believing that he would answer my prayer and wanting sincerely to know something good, whether or not his church was true, I asked him and nothing happened. I felt nothing, I thought nothing. And so I prayed again, and I asked him again. And afterwards, the same thing happened. I, I felt nothing. And I think I may have prayed a third time as well, but I remember at one point walking away, walking down the path of the Sacred Grove, and a little bit frustrated, um, a little confused why I could not get an answer. And everyone else I'd ever talked to about Revelation always testified how if you ask, you'll, you'll get an answer. And one of the most repeated promises in the scriptures is if you ask, you'll receive. If you knock, it'll be open to you. And I was, here I was as an 18-year-old getting ready to go and teach the gospel and just wanting to know if the church was true and I couldn't get an answer. And it frustrated me. And I remember walking down this path and I may have actually said these words out loud, but I thought them very clearly. And it was, Heavenly Father, I know the church is true. Why won't you answer my question? And as I said those words, I realized what I had just said. Heavenly Father, I know the church is true. And in that moment, the answer came. And it was an answer that came as peace. I felt peace. And I realized some thoughts came to my mind at that moment. So the Lord spoke to my heart, which he often does as a general feeling. Those are often more general. And it was peace for me in that moment. And he also speaks to our mind. And those are a little bit more specific, those thoughts. So I felt peace and then I had some specific thoughts. And they were these. Ben, you have known your whole life that this church is true. The Lord has taught you and has, has tutored you and has led you along and given you experiences to help you know that this is true. And it's great that you asked, but you don't need to wonder because you already know. Sometimes I think revelation is really um, just a way to help our spirits remember things that they've already known for a very, very long time. Things that we learned and knew and perhaps even testified about and taught about in the pre-mortal life in heaven. And those things, that knowledge is still there inside of us. It's part of who we are. It's, it's there. And so revelation sometimes is a way to remind us of things. And, and so we hear echoes of eternity. We hear things that feel familiar. They feel comfortable because uh, because our spirits already know those things. So sometimes Revelation is just reminding us of what we already know, whether it's something we learned before we were born or something we've learned earlier on in our life. Uh, I testify to you, Revelation is real. Uh, we live in the last days. These are times where uh, it is very hard sometimes to discern right from wrong, and we need personal revelation. As President Russell M. Nelson said, in the days ahead, it will be impossible to survive spiritually without the guiding, directing, comforting and constant companionship of the Holy Ghost. And I testify to you that as we try to hear him, as we seek after his words and study the scriptures, we will hear his voice. I love the idea that in the scriptures, they're filled with whatever is on your mind when you're reading them. The scriptures are our key to revelation. And so if you're, if you're seeking revelation, Go to the Lord in prayer and then open the scriptures and ponder as you read because those scriptures, wherever you turn that day, will always be filled with whatever is on your mind at the moment. 
the Lord will use those scriptures to speak to us and to, and to inspire thoughts um, through the power of the Holy Ghost and remind us of what we already know and teach us of what we don't. And I show those words in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.